Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Kyle, or Crookstipper, and today I'm bringing you a pretty special video of the bank challenge on town. So first off, let's start off this video by just, I just want to thank you guys so much for all the feedback that I've been getting on the last videos. It really does mean a lot, and it really does help a YouTuber so dedicated like me grow. So let's go ahead and get this thing on the roll. So what you're going to want to do is pretty much just buy the M14 after you open up the bank. It really doesn't matter, buy the M14 or open the bank or open the bank and then buy it. It doesn't really matter. But um, all you're gonna do is you're gonna train in here, and you're gonna see how long you can last. And I must say, for my Nuketown challenge, this isn't as hard as it. The beginning of all these challenges, though, that I'm gonna be doing, and I'll be doing challenges, by the way, for about every map pack that comes out for Black Ops 2. That's how dedicated to this, and all the feedback that I get, it's just amazing. So you're gonna want to weave the zombies, and the beginning is always hard. It's pretty difficult to get through the beginning because all you want to do is you want to wrap up the zombies in a group, and then you want to take them out. Well, in the beginning of all challenges, getting them together has got to be the hardest part, except for that Nuketown one. They're always a part in that, and it's just extremely difficult. So that's pretty much the challenge, and pretty much all you got to do is complete the round. And completing the round won't be that difficult, considering you have a train going. The only hard part about this is really when you kill zombies, they spawn right behind you. They're going to come through doors that you're trying to train through, and, you know, that's a pain in the ass. So what I did to solve this is pretty much just kill them when you're next to the window right here that's gonna keep you from the zombies so another thing I wanna talk about is you can pick up the perk drops like I just did right there the max ammo but you cannot pick up nukes you can pick up instant kills to complete the round faster and like if you wanna get a better time on completing the round or you know you you can make it harder on you don't pick up drops except if the drops in the way you need to go through there I mean obviously pick it up but just realize if you do pick up a nuke and post this as a video response, I'm not really going to count it because getting nukes is pretty much cheating to complete a round where if you were to get an instant kill, you're still killing the zombies. So that's really what I wanted to talk about in this video. Um, in my Nuketown one, all you had to do was get a horde and like a horde is pretty much just a group of zombies, like the whole group, until you start killing them. And once you get the horde, you pretty much, you did the challenge. And on the Nuketown one, I'm challenging you guys to complete the round. Completing the round is pretty much a 99.9% .9 chance you're not going to complete the round. It is so difficult. It's just unreal. So, anyways, I did get the instant kill right there, and it helps a lot, and there's a nuke, so I'm not going to get it. Do not get the nukes, guys. It's just, it's not going to count. It's kind of cheating, and I guess you could say instant kill is, but it's not at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and allow that. But pretty much that's the video right here. Here's the challenge, and I'm going to be uploading a ton and a ton of challenges. I'll pretty much be uploading challenges in the new map pack. Um, I hear there's a new map pack coming out, and I did a video on it, so if you want to check that out, it will be in the description. And yeah, guys, so that's pretty much the challenge. I'll just complete the round overall. And one more problem I want to notice about this is um, if you don't kill the zombies in time, they're going to die off and start spawning behind you again. So you kind of want to do this as quick as you can. That almost screwed me over in this. And yeah, guys, so that's pretty much it. My name's Kyle, or Crookstover, and I'll talk to you guys later.